What's up, YouTube? Tony coming back at you with another episode of the Mississippi Pickers, so welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> uh, so this is what's going on. Uh, if you've been following this channel for a while, then you know all the things that me and my wife had been through. Uh, back in 2016, we quit our full-time jobs. We tried to do Phil eBay full-time. It didn't work out for us, and we kind of fell on our face, but it was a great experience. We learned a lot from it. We learned how to do eBay during that year, basically year and a half that we were doing eBay full time. And do I regret it? No. And I'll tell you why. Because even though we might have failed the first time doing eBay as a full-time job, we did wind up making net monthly about $2,000 at the end of it. Now, I did do something wrong at the very end where at the time we had a medium-sized store on eBay and if you had a medium-sized store, you could only list a 1,000 items before you had to start paying per item if you went over that thousand. We got to a thousand items, I stopped. If we had just kept going, then we we would have made enough money that we would have never, you know, fell on our face. But I made that decision. It was totally on me and so but I learned from that. When we decided that we couldn't make it anymore we went back to work as basically as regular employees now my wife did I didn't um, my wife went back to work she's got a, a decent job I'm doing my overnight floor job and it doesn't pay a whole lot of money but I'm able to work with my wife she works at the same place that I do and that's the only reason I kept that job even though it didn't make a whole bunch of money we're able to work together and I'm able to take her to work I'm able you know to go and take her to work pick her up and you know we basically are able to spend a lot more time together whereas if I would had a different job working different hours then it, it just wouldn't have been as good uh, so we've we've taken less pay for the convenience of being together for the last uh, well since 2016 so 2017 till 2023 you do the math some maybe six years uh, anyway is that right no it's been seven years well since 2016 but if you go from 2017, then it's six years. So, <laughs> anyway, that's why we did what we did, so we could work together. And if you, if you really love your wife, then you want to spend as much time with her as you can. If you really love your husband, you want to spend as much time with him as you can, especially as you're getting older, because you never know when it's checkout time. <laughs> You know what I mean, you guys that are getting the same age group I am. So, you know, you want to spend as much time as you can with your loved ones. And that's what we decided to do. So anyway, make a long story short, we, we haven't made a whole lot of money over the last six years. And it's only just now that we're able to start putting some money into our bills. The reason for that, we've been paying on a car most of this time, but the car, that our last car that we bought, it paid off this month, June 2023. And we're going to take that money, roll it over into other bills, and we're going to start paying them off. We also had some back taxes that we owed. Pay that off this month. And we had... Um, a QVC, if you don't know what QVC is, online shopping network. We had a couple of dollars on there. It's like three hundred and twenty bucks, something like that, and paying them off. We're paying all that off this month. 
all the money that we were paying on those bills, which I think it came to like $331. We're taking that money, we're adding it to the money that we already had free, which was like 360 bucks. We're gonna take that money and add it together and we're gonna use it to pay off bill after bill after bill. Each month for the rest of this year, we're gonna be paying something off. And just after, uh, it's after yeah after this month alone we've cleared up three hundred and thirty one dollars uh, from the ones that that we had so that'll be six hundred and ninety five dollars going into June that'll be clear money and that's what I'm talking about right here this is where we currently are where we started at and that's where we'll be at in July. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope so. But this is how much debt we currently have. $42,325. Is that right? Yeah. $42,325. That's everything. That's our house, all our bills, all our credit cards, everything. Uh, not utilities, of course, but I'm saying all of our debt. Anything that that we owe a debt on that that we can pay off uh, there's some things you can't get rid of obviously you can't get you never can get rid of your water bill your electricity bill uh, things like that you can't get rid of those are with you for the rest of your life uh, fortunately for us land taxes we no longer have to pay that after we turn 65 so that's coming up in a relatively short time so land taxes will be going away too uh, the only thing is after we turn 65, then we got to start paying Medicare. And I don't know how much you know about Medicare, but Medicare is expensive. So that's, that's one of the reasons that we're trying to get all these bills paid off. Another reason we're trying to get these bills paid off is we want to have uh, some money in retirement. We want to start putting some money up. And we don't know right now if we want to put that into treasury notes, a CD, something that, some kind of interest bearing account that is not subject to going away. Like you can put it in some kind of investment. If the investment does badly, you can lose all your money. Not doing that. Obviously, that would be the thing that would grow the most interest, but we're not interested in trying to lose our money. So we're too old to take a chance on something like that. We want something safe. Treasury notes are safe. CDs are safe. Whatever is drawing the most interest, probably gonna be treasury notes for us. But uh, I don't know, we're not worried about that right this minute. But, uh, this is, let me see if I can get this on here. This is the plan. We want to get this done by December 2025. And at the end of that time, this $1,211, that's what we're paying right now for all these bills, uh, including our house note, 1211 We want that to be a goose egg by December 25, 25, a goose egg. It's not gonna be easy. $42,000 for us and $42,325 to be exact, that's a lot of money for us because um, we don't make a lot. But now that we're paying the car off, it's definitely doable because we can snowball you know, our our bills by once we paid off this car which that pays off this month once we pay that car off next month we've got that extra money we can throw into the next bill most of the bills that we have are under five hundred dollars each I mean we've got a lot of them we've got more than we should have you can see we are starting with 12 accounts and this is where we are currently. Now each month, I'll give you an update, let you know where we are, and I'll let you know where we are on these numbers right here too. Should be interesting to see. I'm 61 years old. I turned 62 at the end of this year. My plan is right now to take my Social Security at 
62. Uh, I don't know for sure that I'm going to do that yet because it all depends on what eBay does. Now, the, the stuff that I've got right here, this uh, the, the numbers that I'm showing you, I'm not including any eBay in that because I don't know right now what eBay is going to do. And eBay is too much of a wild card. So I don't really know what eBay is going to do. I do know for sure I'm going to take my Social Security early. Me and my wife both have about the same amount of money on our Social Security. So neither one of us is like a higher earner than the other. It doesn't really matter. Uh, she's a little younger than I am. So she's going to, she's not able to take hers right now anyway. But I can go ahead and take mine and we can take that money and throw it into the house. And that's what we're planning on doing with it. So Social Security was never supposed to be your sole source of income when you retire. We are fully aware of that and that's not our plan. Our plan is to have other sources of income once we retire. So as far as having a whole bunch of money and savings, that's probably not going to happen. We will have some kind of savings. I don't know how much it will be at this point. But when we get through with this payoff plan, we're not planning on quitting immediately. We're going to keep working and we're going to put the money that we have then just into uh, whatever um, CD, you know, treasury notes, what, whatever, something that's making money with our money. And we're going to continue doing eBay. And I don't know if you've ever done eBay or not, but if you haven't ever done eBay, eBay is a pretty good source of income, but... There's a big caveat to eBay. You have got to continually pump money into eBay for it to make money. When I say pump money into, you need at least four or five hundred dollars a month going into eBay if you're going to make a substantial amount of money out of it, based on whatever the prices are in your area. Now you may live in an area where everything is like super super cheap. Mississippi, no. Everything in Mississippi is expensive as far as uh, stuff on the second-hand market. That's because everybody's clamoring to get it. Uh, stuff on the second-hand market in Mississippi is highly sought after So, because everybody's looking for a deal. Let's face it, <laughs> everybody wants something for cheap, and it's hard to get that around Mississippi. So you go to a typical garage sale, they've got eBay prices. You know, you go to a flea market in Mississippi, eBay prices. You're not going to find, you know, cheap stuff at flea markets, garage sales in Mississippi. You just won't. I mean, you might you might every once in a while find something, you know, that's almost a deal. But nine times out of ten, you're going to be in sticker shock when you go to one of our garage sales. Uh, they just don't exist around here because too many poor people live around here. And Mississippi, poor state in the union. Uh, they don't say that for no reason. It's true. And you have to just understand that here you cannot get deals like that. Now you can go to the thrift store. Average cost for a shirt in Mississippi is about anywhere from 3 to $9, depending on where you go. A uh, shirt, just a shirt. <laughs> uh, pants, you're going to pay on average about 6 to $10. For a pair of pants, uh, jeans, anything like that. Uh, so, not exactly cheap prices, but if you know exactly where to go, you can get uh, some things relatively cheap. Now, we have uh, acquired some sources where we can get things a little bit cheaper. So, we our average price on like shirts is now three dollars. Our average pair uh, for a pair of pants is about four to five dollars. But that's only because we've got some sources that most people don't. That's just because we've been doing it for so long. And we know where to go. But uh, those prices don't represent the vast majority of the places that you could go in Mississippi to get secondhand merchandise. Uh, so I'm just saying that, you know, just, just putting it out there, just being real. Uh, anyway, our plan for the future this month. 2023, June 2023, till December of 2025. We want to be debt-free by December. We're going to start this month. We're going to get this done, 
and every month I'll give you an update, let you know where we are. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not telling you that you should do what Tony's doing. Don't do what Tony and Deidre's doing. You do you. And don't take this as any kind of financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm just sharing my journey with you. You know, you're not. everybody's not going to agree with the, the way I'm doing things. Not everybody's going to agree with me taking my Social Security early. Not everybody's going to agree with anything that I'm doing. I'm doing things the way I want to do them. I'm not asking anybody's permission. I'm not asking anybody if they think this is the right thing to do. I've made my decision. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Do your own thing. But this is what I'm doing. And I'm just trying to share with some of you guys what I'm doing. Now, is it right? Is it wrong? Who knows? It's what I've decided to do. I'm not looking for, you know, to go to whatever that Ramsey guy's name is. I'm not interested in his little book or his little seminars and things like that. I've already made my decision on what I want to do. As far as... Uh, any kind of uh, stock market things, I'm not interested in that. Because you can lose your money in stock market. And that's just the way it is. Uh, the, some of the safest things that are in the stock market could go away tomorrow. You just don't know. not willing to take any kind of chances with the money that we do save. So the only kind of things that I'm interested in is going to be like things that are protected by the federal government, like CDs, some kind of savings, treasury notes, stuff like that. I'm not putting my money into the stock market. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. You know, if that upsets somebody, hey, get over it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so that's our plan. That's what we're going to be doing. And $42,325, that's going to be a goose egg by December 2025. Trust me on this. And come back and watch. If you don't believe me, come back and watch. Every month I'll give you an update, let you know where we are. If I'm not making it, then you can point and laugh. But for right now, it's happening. <laughs> All right, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.